Hi guys, this is Mark Shaws in the Pattern Trader, and as you can tell, I'm just about ready to take uh, the court uh, with my buddy Drew. Um, I met Drew about a year ago when I moved out to Florida, and I saw him hitting against the wall with one of these. Yeah, really old school. So uh, you know, I didn't think much of him, and I basically, uh, you know, underestimated anything he could do with this uh, toothpick here, this old wood racket from the '70s. Uh, but that was uh, clearly at my peril. The guy has uh, unbelievable hands and uh, what he can do with this toothpick is just unbelievable. So, uh, you know, you guys, uh, my members, uh, thousands of you know, you guys around the world know that I'm pretty old school in my trading. I use very old school trading patterns to carve out literally hundreds and thousands of pips um, a month. I've uh, made about eight to 10,000 pips this year. Uh, out of being long uh, trades like pound New Zealand from the low 170s. It's now trading in the high 190s uh, Today I'm short gold uh, Collectively I have two um, Trades that we put on uh, this week uh, one short at 1267 and the other uh, sell short at 12 $1,260 and now we're trading under the 1250 uh, price area and uh, as you guys know, I've been uh, predicting uh, a lower price in gold for quite some time. And we crashed uh, this week under an ascending, broadening price formation, a very unusual price pattern. But again, I've learned to identify these very simple patterns to extract big moves in the market. Uh, also this week, we had an inside bar on the pound New Zealand. And I think any penetration above uh, this week's high will lead to ever uh, higher prices in the pound New Zealand. I've been pretty consistent on that since uh, last October and um, when the uh, pound New Zealand started at 167 now it's in the high 190s. I do see pound New Zealand going 205, 215 and perhaps even much higher. Uh, this may take some time and you're going to get a lot of volatility. Uh, you've had uh, moves of 500, 700 pips in the last couple of weeks in pound New Zealand and I do expect that volatility to continue, albeit we are heading now into the uh, end of the year holiday season. There is an expected uh, Fed rate hike uh, next week. Uh, we should have some volatility with that. The dollar was slightly higher this week based on a positive non-farm payrolls report and also the expectation of a rate increase by the Fed, which is pretty baked in the cake. Uh, but as you guys know, I've not been trading the dollar pairs too much. I've been, you know, focusing in, in a lot of these exotics recently, and uh, you know, having a field day there. So uh, I think that uh, the dollar uh, is going to be difficult trading. I see it fairly range bound for a while. Uh, so I'm kind of, you know, staying out of dollar pairs. Although I do see the New Zealand versus the U.S. dollar uh, going lower imminently. So uh, that does seem like an impending opportunity. All right, guys, I'm around, about to uh, hit the court here. I'm excited to uh, play with my buddy Drew, and uh, I'll speak to you next time. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.